everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life, and today I have a Goulet Pens order. I have ordered samples from them before, but I ended up just loving another fountain ink pen. So my collection has now grown from three fountain pens to four, and the fourth one is in this box. I also ordered a bunch of samples because I wanted that free shipping, and I have a lot of these samples already on my wish list. So I just pulled from the samples on my wish list, checked out what other samples they had, and ended up with a bunch. So they packaged everything in this cute little box, the Goulet Pen Co. I love their YouTube channel, and that was how they got me with this pen. So they showed the pen on the YouTube channel, talked about it. There's also a green one. I got the pink one, I'm trying to get everything out, make sure I don't have a shipping label here. This is my first Lamy pen. Okay, so there's all the shipping paper. I've got a little pamphlet. I've got a cute little sticker. I've got the cartridge converter, just like taped to something with my shipping info on it, which I don't want. I don't want my shipping info. Okay cartridge converter, and a little lollipop, which is wonderful. So I, gotta be honest, I have not gotten a Lamy pen. A lot of people recommended Lamy Safaris. This is a Lamy All-Star. I've never tried out their pens or anything. People say Lamy, and I think of Lamy the Lamb. <laughs> this was my oldest daughter, Livy's Lovey. We actually have a bunch of them, like duplicates, and my tiny one loved Lamy as well. So every time I think of the word L-A-M-Y, I think of this guy, so I don't know, just one of those weird things where I'm like, oh, I'm not sure what to think of the, the term Lammy, but that's what I think of. Uh, so as you can see, got lots of ink samples. This is a cartridge-based pen. This is the Autumn Pink, and I did get a medium then. All mine are medium. I like a little bit bolder of a stroke. And look, it's so pretty. So it just happened to be like the most beautiful shade of pink. Open it up, it's a pop. Um, that's a protective thing. I'm like, that's kind of ugly. That's a little protective thing on there. And it does come with one ink cartridge. Okay, so that's to protect it from popping that ink cartridge. So you just pop the ink cartridge in there. I will not use that, it's just a blue. Um, I just loved the black with the pink. It's just so beautiful. They also have a rose gold one. And I think this one was way prettier than the rose gold. So I will put the ink cartridge converter in there. So pretty, you get a little peekaboo window so you can see your ink. And the little cap, I just love the, the look of this little pin clip on there. And then the finial, I think their finials are usually red, but this one has a matching pink one. It's just so pretty. It's a beautiful pen, lots of pink, and love the black accents on it as well. And it is a pop. I am used to twisting. All my other ones are screw caps. This one's a pop. So that'll take some getting used to, but it looks nice. It's got triangular grip. I'm not sure how I feel about the grip on there. I guess it like forces you to put your fingers in the correct place, which is probably good. I always do that anyway, but they have to be exactly where, where it says to be or it definitely won't feel very comfortable. Sorry, I'm way scratchy today. We went to the Green Day concert a few days ago and my voice is still not completely back. So I'm a little bit scratchy today. I am a lefty, so um, the logoing's gonna be upside down for me. You know, right-handed people will see the correct logoing. I will get an upside down view, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited about this. So it's a pink to add to my collection here. So now I have four and it's I don't know, the sleekest, you know, most angular look. I like it. Definitely sleek. Clearly I like me some color, so it's just beautiful. The metallic pink with the black accents. Got two with titanium oxide accents. This one has the silver accents with, with the light aqua. I just, they all look so beautiful. I'm very excited about this one. I will say I do really like the piston fillers a lot better, because especially the ones I have, they're clear. You can see the ink flowing in there. And also it just holds so much more ink than the ink cartridge converters. Okay, now for ink samples, I ended up with quite a few like fallish colors. This one on top is called pumpkin, reminding me of pumpkin spice. And then lots of teals. 
And then I also decided I wanted a black ink. So I'm gonna be testing out a few black inks and I don't want it to be just a plain old boring black ink. I want like a shimmery type of black ink or one that has some sheening to it. So I got a couple of those options as well. Mostly this is just pinks and teals, a couple of holiday colors and a couple of black inks to test out. So I will be doing swatches of all these. I'm not gonna like walk through all of them. In the Goulet pen video where they talked about this one and the green one, they mentioned a few colors that would like match the barrel and they were really pretty. So I did end up pulling a couple of those too, which this one was one of them. Shikiori Sakura Mori. Um, so it's like a lighter pink color that'll match this barrel a little bit. And I love pinks. So I ended up getting a few off that list as well. Pinks. So this Poison Envy is one of the like fall Halloween type of colors that I got. I got some oranges, I got some like green or deep sheening ones, purpley colors. This is another one that they recommended. Dipped in, Sailor Dipped in Coral Humming. It's another pinkish one. Got lots of tealy colors. Oh yes, I got some like coppery fallish colors, some brown fallish colors. This is one of the black ones. Wearing little Hades, and this one has a little bit of a, a shimmer to it, I think. All right, a sheen to it. We have a tiny one right out there. She's having a sick day. I thought I could sneak away for a minute. But I'm very excited about trying these out. So I'm excited to have some like fallish colors to play with. I also got some like Christmassy colors as well. River of Fire, that'll be a fun one. Just all sorts of good ones. This is one of those like coppery colors. It's Robert Oster Whiskey. I'm very excited to play around. I'll swatch all of these in some future videos, but I just wanted to unbox the pen. This one is a limited edition one, so if you are interested in it, definitely grab it, and you do need a cartridge converter. That was a separate little purchase, so you can get the cartridge converter, and then it'll be refillable with any kind of ink. So I'm super excited to test this puppy out, and I'll probably start it with one of the fallish colors. Okay, super quick update. I filled it with the Diamine Ancient Copper or just color. Unfortunately, I could not fill up the cartridge converter because it was too short to go all the way to the ink. I tried like holding it as close to the top as I could and I could not twist it. So I did have to fill it up the old fashioned way, um, but that's fine. <laughs> I just got ink on myself a little bit, but color is gorgeous. I have a brown in this one is Cafe Crema. I'm gonna go ahead and refill this one with one of my new colors as well. But that's, that's what I'm gonna end with this video is trying out one color. It writes really nice and smooth. I love the medium nib. I think it's gonna be a great addition to my uh, tiny pen collection. And I keep saying totally, this is enough pens. Like I don't need a billion fountain ink pens, but then I see another really beautiful one. I still need one with a pink nib. Somebody, somewhere, make a pen with a pink nib and I will be there. As far as writing, all of these write really nicely. I don't know about this one yet as far as like preferences. I feel like the Twisbees write with pretty much any ink I put in them. I've had pretty much zero trouble with them. A couple of inks I put in this one at first were very dry and scratchy. So that was my first experience like having a really dry ink that didn't perform the best in the pen which I know certain inks are just not gonna perform well in certain pens, but so far everything I've put in the Twisbees has worked really nicely. That was my first experience of having a pen and ink combo have issues. Otherwise it writes really well so long as the ink flows nicely. Any ink I put in these two has worked great. So far this Diamine ink has worked great in here as my first little test. So I will end up probably like in depth reviewing these as far as like a first timer pen. I totally asked on the Sterling Ink group and the number one pen was the Twisby Eco, ECO. And then I ended up with this Twisby as the next one. This is a diamond and I got it just solely because of the color of it. I love it. Um, yeah, I would totally recommend a Twisby to be the beginning pen. This one's kind of a pricey one. It was like 75 or 80 bucks. So I would definitely not recommend that be your first experience in fountain pens. But this one's like a $30 pen, $32 great starting pen and it's still one of my favorites. Like, I started my ink collecting slash fountain ink journey last fall so it's been about a year 
and I would still totally recommend this one. I still love it and use this one. Like I was journaling with this one this morning. So it's the one that's gonna stay in my lineup and I have no interest whatsoever in spending more than like a hundred bucks on a pen. If a pen's like multiple hundred dollars, I don't even look at it because for me, that's just out of my price point. But these are all reasonable. This is my most expensive one and it was 80. This was a 30 something dollar. This one was, I wanna say like 50. So I know small, low range pen pricing, but I know they go up in the thousands. And for me, that's just not attainable, not affordable, not reasonable. So I'm sticking with my like budget pens and so far all these ones have worked great. I'm very excited. I'm gonna go ahead and refill this one. That's Cafe Crema. It's a pretty color, but now that I have this pretty color, I wanna do another bright color in here. So I've got a teal, a purple. I probably will go pink in this one and that will be it. So there you go. There's my last little rambling. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little unboxing. I will be back with some pen swatching here very soon. I still. I think I still have other pen swatching videos to post. Like I'm so behind on those ones. You know, it'll happen when it happens, I guess. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, follow me along, and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.